there is a particular way I tried to approach the arrangement and composition of this song because firstly the Sanskrit part definitely required very strong rhythms and immediately I thought of the Pakhavaj and the Sanskrit verse also required some harmonization. So here we have a section where we are harmonizing in a kind of choir choral effect and then <clears throat> below that we have the Pakhavaj. So the soundscape here is very unique. Again in the Bangla part <clears throat> things are more peppy with you know drums and various western rhythm instruments being played but again we have the tabla and dholak uh, with those rhythm uh, percussion instruments and all together we have a very unique sound so when we have the sanskrit part it is a certain sound then there are some changeovers and we have used the sarod and the flute so there are so many tonalities and so many uh, shades uh, immediately you know that th we are talking of you know something global something bigger than a certain genre of song it is much wider and broader than that so I'm sure the audience would appreciate that and it would go a long way uh, to attract people and attract audiences all over the world <laughs>